What's up, gang? I hope everybody is doing well. First of all, shout out to y'all that have participated in the raffle. Y'all have been coming through. Y'all just make me smile. I'm so, so glad that you guys have received this, um, this offer that I offered you guys, this gift that I am gifting to my gang. I love y'all so, so much. This is just a way for me to show y'all that. Y'all have been showing out with this raffle. So thank you so, so much. Once again, just for those who have not who don't know i am doing a raffle um it is for those who want to win a, a reading with mama magical it's either going to be a love or a general tarot reading your winner's choice winner's pick uh you can enter through the cash app um also i have a donation button at the bottom somebody somebody emailed me and asked me and said they didn't have cash app so they could do a, a could they do a five dollar donation of course absolutely that still counts um, so definitely feel free to do that. The entry is only $5. Um, the raffle will be going to August 1st. And I'm going to be doing a live read when I pull out the name. So thank you guys for participating. I am so, so excited about this. Really quickly, big shout out, big welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the gang. Make sure you participate, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. I do have a website. I just started uh, also a subscription only part to my website where you can text Mama Magical. Yes, you get my phone number if you need any advice. It's not for tarot reads, but it's just for random advice. You know, maybe you got something on your mind. You will have my number so you can text me. So that is exciting. And shout out to those who have already participated in that. You can go to my website and get to that link. You will see it at the top of my website. It's called Gang Shit. <laughs> gang membership exclusive stuff so definitely yep, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the website because i'm trying to build my presence more on my website because that's my home right there youtube could take me away and i'm still gonna have my website so definitely y'all make sure y'all and y'all can communicate and y'all can I, i've um been posting blogs on there you could comment um it's very community welcoming so y'all can talk amongst each other so i'm just excited to get my website popping and giving it some more love because i've been giving youtube a lot of love i need to give my site some love <laughs> So definitely look into that, guys. Also, for any um, requests or anything that you want to suggest or any information you want to give me regarding my YouTube content, feel free to email me at MagicalFlowersTarot.com. Once again, my website is MagicalFlowersTarot.com. And I'm sorry, my email is MagicalFlowersTarot at Yahoo.com. So anyway, y'all, let's jump into this reading now that I done got that out the way. <laughs> this reading is on Khalees child she has been vocal as hell in the news she is tired of the people's shit she done called out rihanna beyonce she is coming for a juggler y'all so um we're gonna just tap into her energy a little bit and see what is going on with her we know she recently lost her husband so she gotta be still going through it with that shit you know i wonder how Nas feel about her and and i remember one time you know his daughter destiny actually accused her of being mean and kind of bullying her about her weight when he, they were married so we go i'm gonna tap into all of that y'all so y'all already know how i do i'm gonna start off this reading by just tapping into Khalees' energy <clears throat> by calling out her name Khalees, 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 Khalees. so we're gonna see what is that current energy because she seemed a little hot right now what is Kalisa's current energy right now? How is she feeling in this present time, in this moment? How is her current? Oh, my gosh. The hot, look at that. Hollywood. Hollywood is always coming out, y'all. I can't even shuffle before Hollywood pop out. Nine of Cups reverse. So she ain't feeling the love, y'all. She is not feeling the love. Straight out the gate. Mm, depression. Wow. Look at these. Y'all see the cards? And she ain't feeling no shit right now. Queen, Queen of Swords. She feeling a type of way, child. So let's see. This and I, I can tell this reading going to be interesting. What is her current energy? Spirit is ready to speak. Khalees, Khalees, Khalees. Spirit, show us her current energy. Show us Khalees' current energy right now. Mm. Burden. Wow. So I knew it. I knew she felt heavy. Let me make sure my cards is in focus. See, I know she was feeling some type of way. She she is feeling very um like the world is world is on her shoulders and she got some shit to say. Wands is fiery. The lovers. I told y'all, you know, she's still going through it with about her husband. I knew it. Five of swords. Mm, conflict. 
Eight of Cups. So yeah, she said she really going through something about the death of her husband. She's going through stuff about life period. She's having a hard time moving forward from this loss. And I feel like a lot in their go, Eight of Swords, I knew it. Feeling stuck, feeling depressed, all in her head. Having just a lot of negative, um, a, ne a lot of negative thoughts. Look, three of swords, betrayal, six of pa six of cups, the past. The past. So yeah. So she is going through it, y'all. It's all in her cards. It's, it's as clear as day. I hope these cards is in focus. Knight of Pentacles. She feel like she ain't got her just due. She haven't got paid. She feel like she done put a lot of work behind the scenes. She done worked her ass off through the years. And she is tired. She is tired of people just, you know, she wants her flowers. She wants her recognition. Like I said, she wants her just do. So she really stuck on, you know, the shit that she went through in the past. And I feel like all of it is just coming to a head for her in this moment. What is her energy towards Pharrell? Now, I know that they were saying, you know, she had some indirect ang anger towards Beyonce, accusing her of sampling her. And I've seen the comments, you know, I've seen you guys saying that that was not her, her masters to even, you know, her song to even, you know, feel that type of way or feel like she needs permission that in fact for real owns all her masters and she is in a shitty contract so let's see what her energy is towards for real in this moment maybe we wonder if that's why tiana taylor you know then has struggled in her life because you remember she was with for real too when she first came on to the scene let me find out for real be on that bullshit seven of pentacles yeah all this, she said, I'm ready to be released from this contract, Seven of Pentacles. I've put in work. I've been under this contract for a long time. I am ready for my money. I, she, I feel like she feels financially she is old too. And this is just all the years. She's tired. She's been thinking about it night and day. <laughs> King of Swords. She feels like he's a liar. He could not be trusted. Six of Swords. That's her. There it go. Hollywood and Six of Wands. I'm sorry. It's her. Knight of Cups. Reverse. Mm. She's not feeling it. She's not feeling him. She's ready to move on. Queen of Swords. See how that keep coming up? She's pissed with him. Look at this. Look at the expression on her face. Doesn't she look pissed? She is upset, y'all. She is not fucking with him. We got the King and the Queen of Swords. Mm. And Hollywood. Peep gang. Y'all already know. Mm. She said she's speaking up. She's tired. She's tired. She is definitely in her feelings about him. And the things that he has done. And she said today it ends. She's speaking up. She's going to start speaking her truth with the hang the hang one. And she said, listen, you know, I, I haven't said too much for too long. But I'm about to start saying shit. Page of Cups. That's interesting to me too. I feel like Page of Cups represents how, you know, her and her youth. How she has been rocking with him for so long. And she like, damn, you still ain't trying to let up and let me out of this contract. And, you know, give me my music. So, hmm. I wonder what she feels. What is her energy with Nas right now? You know, she was married to Nas. Or what, that was her first husband. They had a really messy breakup. And the divorce, from what I remember. Ooh, look at that. Queen of Wands. Yeah, she don't fuck with Nas like that, it looks like. She still... See, Khalees, she holds a lot of emotional baggage. We got the Queen of Wands and the Three of Swords. She's still feeling deeply, deeply hurt by Nas in that situation. She feels, I feel like she feels backstabbed too in some type of way. She just has a very, um, she's just really offensive right now. Defensive, I'm sorry. She just feels betrayed by everyone. Queen of Wands, she doesn't feel him in this moment. But I'm going to pull more. What is her energy towards? Nah, mm, like I told y'all, not to cuss me burst. She just don't fuck with him. She's not satisfied, um, I feel like she's not satisfied just how they co-parent, their relationship, all of that. How things have happened. She just, I told you, she's not feeling him. King of Cups, death, exactly reversed. So she can't get over that too. Ten of Swords. Look, very stabbed in the back. Just Page of Pentacles lets me know that it's not all good. Reverse too. It's not all good between the two of them. But we know that their relationship has ended. Two of Cups, reverse. Exactly. I knew they weren't friends temperance so yeah i knew that they weren't friends i knew that they didn't really have a good relationship like that page of pentacles reverse i feel like they don't really communicate besides the fact that they have a child together but she's still stuck on the things that went wrong with them the fool 
But and still, she has moved on in her own ways. Hell, I feel like she thinks she was a fool in that marriage too for some reason. I don't feel like that's all positivity when it comes to that car. How does Nas feel about her? How does Nas feel about police? How does Nas feel about police? How does he think about her? Six of Swords. Mm. So, yeah, there's still some tension between the two of them. Page of Swords. <laughs> he definitely watching her right now. Like we all are in her antics, Queen of Wands. He knows that she is fiery. This is Khalees all the way, the Queen of Wands. She's very charismatic. She's very pretty. You know, she just... Y'all know Khalees' energy. She's bossy. She's spicy. <laughs> I wonder if she's a fire sign, especially with that Queen of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. But you know what? He, I feel like he does feel like she deserves more. Regardless of whatever happened towards them, that he knows that she was a hard worker. And she definitely, Three of Pentacles, she deserves more for all the things that, all the hard work um, that she has put in over the years. That she just didn't get that opportunity, you know, that she deserves because she is talented. So he does agree with her. Regardless of their personal problems, he does agree with where she's coming from. Seven of Cups. But shit is real funny between the two of them. Ace of Wands, the star. I told y'all the star reverse. He felt that she didn't get what she deserved. So he feels where she coming from. He knows that this damn industry is shady and how it could be, you know, and um, how it can really chew people up and spit them out. Hmm. Now he find out he would still fuck her, though. <laughs> well, he's a man, you know, and they were married. But I don't know. But but uh, more, than five, more than anything, Ace of Wands just represents to me, you know, he knows her energy. That wand energy is Khalees. So he knows that she is a woman and she is a hard worker, you know, when it comes to her music and the things that she has put in and it's been well looked over. So I want to know about these accusations for not from Nas's daughter, Destiny. I remember reading a while ago, Destiny saying, you know, she was very harsh on her when she was married to her father, that she would kind of pick at her, pick on her weight, try to make her eat all kind of vegetables. <laughs> Now, I don't know if that's a child's perspective, you know. I don't want to eat these vegetables. You know, when you were younger, you think your kid, your parents being mean to you and they try to make you eat okra and all of that. But she, you know, I don't know, but she's saying it was more than just her looking out for her health. She said she was flat out fucking mean and she was a bully. Spirit, show me that energy. Was that true? Was Khalees mean? Did she bully Nas's daughter, Destiny? Is that true? Show me their energy with each other. Show me the energy between Khalees and Nas's daughter. Did she bully Nas's daughter, Destiny? Did Khalees ever bully her, treat her unfairly, mean, poorly? Did she do those things? How did she treat her? Four of Cups, yeah. They didn't have a good relationship. You see how her arms are like folded? It's not embracing. They're not open. It's not welcoming. Eight of Cups, yeah, reverse. Mm, ten of swords so they don't even fuck with each other at all like that so it looked like there was some tension between the two of them mm, death reverse and it has not changed that energy is still there very defensive energy the devil i told y'all so yeah she wasn't she wasn't lying she was telling the truth queen of pentacles she was telling the truth they did not have a good relationship the devil hmm they didn't fuck with each other at all. And the energy is, they kept the same energy. It has not changed. And her daughter still has not gotten over that. She don't mess with her at all. That's what that four of cups is talking about. So let's get to Miss Beyonce. How did Miss Beyonce feel? But ooh. The Empress, she wasn't feeling it look like. How did Miss V and I feel like this represents Khalees too as a stepmother, the Empress that just popped out as reverse. She just didn't have a good relationship with Destiny. How did Beyonce feel when she heard about the comments that Khalees made regarding Beyonce sampling her music without her quote unquote permission? How did Beyonce feel about that? 
How did Beyonce feel about Khaleesi's energy towards her using her music and her newest album? Show us how Beyonce felt about Khaleesi and her comments. Show us spirit. <laughs> nope, I told y'all the Empress, she not feeling it. Page of Swords. She said, oh, well, I don't get masters next time. Then maybe I'll come to you. Six of Wands. Beyonce is not paying. She don't give a damn. She's like, whatever. I went to the right people. Ace of Swords represents truth. I went to the right people. I did it the right way. I'm sorry that your business wasn't handled in the manner that you felt like it should be handled. The magician. But I feel like manipulation in this situation. The magician. You know, magician is... Hmm, magician could be something else when it's, when it's upside down. You know, they are very smart, cunning. They know how to manifest and pull tricks up their sleeve. And still look like, you know, they did it the right way. Even, you know, if it comes across as morally wrong. You know what I mean? But politically, I did it the right way. It ain't got nothing to do with feelings. I did it the right way. So I feel like that's that magician energy with Beyonce. She's like, yeah, I probably could have asked you, but I asked the people that needed to be asked. So, so hmm, with a fortune. Oh, well. She feels like, I feel like she feel like Khalees is just going through some shit right now. You know, she's starting to really feel the negative impacts of not owning her own masters and not having a proper management and things like that. This is just how the game is played in Hollywood. It's unfortunate, but Beyonce said she did, right, she did the right thing. And if you feel like she didn't, take her to court. That's how she feel. It's in her cards. So how did Rihanna react? Because I know y'all seen that comment. Now, Khalees didn't say this, but she agreed to a comment when someone on Twitter had said, um, you know, Beyonce picked, I, I don't quote me, but it was something along the lines of Rihanna, I'm sorry, not Beyonce, Rihanna uh, picked up the way that Khalees started. So what the hell they mean by that? I don't know, but... And uh, Khalees definitely agreed. And she let it be known that she agreed. She was like, they don't want to talk about that. Or something like that. Some among some lines. That's what she said. So how did Rihanna feel about that comment? How did Rihanna feel about that comment? How did, no, how did Rihanna feel about Khalees agreeing with that comment, Spirit? How did Rihanna feel about Khalees agreeing with that comment? Mm, page of Pentacles. She said, still stop. I put in my word. Sorry. I just had it and you didn't. Wheel of Fortune. Sorry. Queen of Wands. <laughs> Ten of Wands. Eight of Wands. Four of Swords. The Empress. She said, stop it. Page of Pentacles is all I really need to see. Reverse. She said, stop it, sis. I, everything I got, I put in my own word. Some people just have it and some people just don't. Sometimes it's just in people's stars to go as far as they go. It's in their life path and life destiny. Because at the end of the day, if it's not in your path, it's not in your purpose, it doesn't matter how you try to emulate someone. It's, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Like they, like that saying say, I can give you the recipe, but the sauce won't taste the same. That is the truth. Page of wine. She says, stop it. Stop it. No, I came up. I came up on my own. And you know, Rihanna, she don't play. She got a lot of fire around her too, especially with the, but both of them do. I feel like that's why this, this, all this fire keep coming up, this wine energy. So this was interesting to me. Um, I read that Khalees had a relationship with Solange and they really fucked with each other hard. They have shouted each other out in interviews. And now that Khalees has made this comment about Beyonce, how does Solange feel about that comment that Khalees made about Beyonce? How does Solange feel about that comment? Let's hear that. Mm, Six of Swords, Justice. Wow. It looked like low key Solange might feel like she kind of justified. Six of Swords. She might not, you know, 100% like it because that's her sister and she doesn't want anybody saying anything negative about her sister. But then on the other hand, on the other, on the flip side of this justice, also I feel that Solange feels like Beyonce 
maybe Solange might be justified in her feelings because as an artist, Solange knows what it feels like to be looked over. That's no shade, but it's the truth. Shout out to my my reading, my really good reading I did on Solange a couple of months ago. Make sure you check that out. But she also know that Beyonce's team is very thorough, Justice, and she did it the right way. She like Beyonce said, like her cards just said, like Beyonce's cards just said. Take me to court if you feel like I didn't do it the right way. This justice is upright. So she felt like, yeah, Solange, I mean, Khalees, I know how that feels. But trust me, my sister did it right. And she knows, I feel like Solange knows that Khalees has a painful past. And she's just really feeling some way about the industry, Ten of Swords. I feel like they reached out too. But I don't feel like they might, mm, I don't know. I want to see, that Ten of Swords is interesting to me. They definitely communicated though. Three of Swords. So, yeah, Solange understands that Khalees feels very played. And she has a lot of indirect energy towards a lot of people. A lot of indirect anger towards a lot of people. So, that's just what that is, y'all. Like I said, this wasn't meant to be long and drawed out. It was just a little energy check-in on Khalees. Since she, you know, she all in the news. She trending right now. She's to speak her mind. And she is very unapologetic about it. So, shout out to the gang. <laughs> Definitely let me know how you felt in this in the comments. Like, share. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you end this video. Like I said, all things related to my YouTube content, you can definitely check me out at my web. Uh, email me, I'm sorry, for all things YouTube at MagicalFlowersTarot at Yahoo.com. All things um, personal for my clients, for my team, head over to my website at magicalflowers.com. Hope to see y'all there. Ashe, love y'all.